Hello. Hello, everyone. I am Ball Pooks, as you know. Um, I'm here. I'm a host of B Movie Mania. My name is Ball Pooks. And um, I'm only here for one reason, and you know this. And the, the, the reason I'm here, the number one reason I'm here, the only reason I'm here is to, to make sure to know that you, the viewer, is doing well. And I hope you are. Please comment below on how you're doing, please. I would like this to be as much of a natural conversation as possible. And I will respond to every single comment. I promise. I will have a conversation with every one of you. Because I love every one of you. I'm here in Hollywood. And I just want to say happy Pride Month. Um, yeah, happy Pride. It's fantastic. And the other thing I wanted to say is that I have uh, well mail time. So we're gonna have we're gonna have mail time now, which is why everyone's here anyway. We know it. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it's a package. What do you know about that? So, so as you can see, this is a package. It's for me, Ball Pooks, here in Los Angeles. Um, but what could it be? Let's find out. Um, I've got my multi-tool. I made it uh, pliers. That's not going to help. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? And I mean, should I try? Comment below if you think I should try, please. I will respond to every comment. Okay, this is going to take all night. Okay, we, and we don't have all night. We don't, honestly. I'm not going to waste your time by digging through it with the <laughs> the dumb pliers. Like, I'm not. <sighs> now, this is what we're talking about. Okay. See? It's so much easier. Like, my dad always told the story when he when he had a job. My dad's unemployed right now. He's retired. And when when he had a job, he would say about people who did their job bad, he'd say they're hammer people because they would use hammers for the jobs that didn't matter. Like not that it didn't matter. Sorry. They would use hammers for jobs where the hammer wasn't the right tool. That's the takeaway. Careful. Ah! Okay. All right. Careful. Okay, I'll set that down. Okay, we're opening up. Wait, what side do you want to see? This side. The letter for Paul Books. Ball Books. That's my name. All right, let's see here. Hold this up right. Okay. Ooh, it's wrapped nicely. That's good to see. Okay. That's it. It's this in here. So get rid of that. Unfurl this. <gasps> it's the Psycho Gorman Blu-ray. The, wait, which finger? There we go. Limited Hunky Boy Ultimate Edition. Oh, yeah. You can, if you look, you can peek and you see that blue. That means it's a Blu-ray. That means it's quality. So, we got this. Okay. So, check this out. So, you can see it says there's a free trading card inside. That's amazing. It's the limited Hunky Boy Ultimate Edition. That's amazing. And down here, great tagline. Where, which, this finger. Wait, okay. Uh, little girl, big psycho. 
If you haven't seen this movie, that's a good joke. It makes a lot of sense. It's great. I promise. Check this movie out. I've seen it already. Um, and I'm really excited about this. And, oh, well, speaking of, here's the back. So here's the back of this. Um, on it, it, it's got a Blu-ray, DVD, and CD. What the fuck's the CD? If this is a CDI interactive, I'm going to fucking shit myself. A hilarious gut buster in every sense of the term. I agree. This movie is very funny, but also it's not a parody. It's an homage. It's, it's, this movie is like, like Astron six in general. And I know they're not officially associated with this, uh, but it's the same, uh, like same awesome people. Um, they, they have done a bunch of movies in the past where I don't know. I've not asked them personally. I don't know them personally. But what I feel they do is they kind of have a love for something and then they decide that uh, we would we we want to make it this way. We want to we want to make this movie like it's like it's a challenge. Then you challenge yourself to say, I'm going to make a, 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 a 70s grindhouse gritty like serial killer cop movie or something. And then they make fucking Father's Day and. You know, it's got all this stuff. There's funny stuff in it, but like it's it's an homage. They use uh, it, it's supposed to feel and look the same way. Like, but <laughs> like you know, fucking shitty movies like Scary Movie or I Robin mean, I thought Scary Movie movies are funny, but like those are spoofs. They're they're spoofs, and I don't. This is not that, and this is also isn't um Doctor Strange Love or how I, how I learned to love the bomb which is like probably the best satire. And it, I, I, I mean, this is, I guess, sort of satire, but I don't think it is. I think it's really just genuine love. And like, we want to make a movie that is the, like the movies we love. And we understand we have better technology now, or we understand that we have, you know, ways of, there's a different style now. There's all this stuff, but they said, we want, we want to embrace ourselves in it. And, and, and swim deep down and hold our breaths for a while in the world that is this. And so they make it. And that's what Psycho Gorman is. Psycho Gorman is is an 80s kids movie, effectively. But, you know, it's got a lot of gore in it and and stuff. And the word frig. So, oh, cover your ears if you don't like that word. Sorry, I should have said that. Anyway, I should get back to the back of this. There's enough of my, my you know, the ball pucks diatribe on... Astron 6. It's just, I like them a lot. I think they're a great film group. It's a cool back. So let's get into what's inside here. I'd like to know if that's anyone's favorite part, like seeing the cutting. Like, do you want a better view? I don't know if that gets anyone horny, but, you know, if it does, it does. It's just what it is. I'm not going to complain. All right, so here we go. Okay, plastic off. Fuck off, plastic. Oh, it's a nice, pa it's paper, like the case is paper. It's very nice. It feels good. The tactile, you hear this? A little ASMR for you. Um, all right, ready? Let's... Hold on, it's coming out. Sometimes you just got a finger. In there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this classic cover. Who hasn't just seen this cover before? I mean, like it's something, right? Like it's a movie. It's a movie like... Like it's this... This is reminiscent of something, right? Like I don't... I don't know, man. It's not like... It, it, when I see it, my initial thought is like, like Beethoven or something, you know? Um, but I don't think it's the Beethoven cover, is it? 
It's something. It's just such like an eighties, nineties like cover. It's perfect. And look at like it like Psycho's right there, and he's coming out, and like there's blood. Like see this blood here. Like that's blood. And then the wait, wait, which this finger. And then this the the, the house top on top of here is a lot like oh, what is that? Parenthood maybe? I don't re I don't know, man. But it says say. It says he came, he ate, he slayed. Which, if you've seen the movie, hell yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he does. Um, uh, oh yeah, there's a dog down here too. If you like dogs, there's a dog right there. I like dogs. Dogs are great. Uh, and on the back, we got Mimi here. She's cool as hell. She's the main, uh, the main actor in this. She's fucking snarky as hell. Uh, so something the whole family can enjoy. Uh, someone said that bring a funny new dynamic to the family film. And it really does. But also, uh, I mean, new dynamic is, 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 is a, uh, uh, camouflage of a word because honestly it brings a funny, very gory dynamic to the family film is what this does. Honestly, it really does that. And that's, what makes this movie so special? And and I love that. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, special features. Uh, over here, special features. Uh, they say uh, three commentary tracks. Behind the scenes featurette. Uh, FX shop, the Paladin fight, PG versus Pandora, and miniatures. Which the miniature work in these Astron 6 movies is so fucking cool. They're, 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 they're very unique in style. And... I can't recommend them enough. Um, what else we got? Interviews one on one with Steve Kostansky, who I believe is who uh, I'm sure he has helped. Probably, maybe not, honestly. But he does the min he directed this, but also like the miniatures and stuff like that throughout the rest of the Astron Six uh, Iverse uh, and Father's Day. You know, <laughs> there's there's that he does those and uh, Manborg. Manborg is. Fuck, man. Manborg is just effectively all green screen and miniatures, and it's so fucking good for that. Um, and also with Cortex, a conversation. And also there's trailers, and there's more, and we don't even know what that is. Um, on the bottom here, you can see that it's made in Canada. Uh, Alright, so let's open this up. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to try to share this as I can see it. Look at this. Look at this. She's just singing up top there. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, what do we do? Okay, we're going to do the stuff that's falling out first. Because there's stuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is cool as hell. The guys, this is cool as hell. All right, so, so there's this card. Official PG action figures are here. Wait, are they really? Order your collectible early bird certificate package today and receive these authentically detailed action figures before they're available in stores available for a limited time. Ah! Holy! <laughs> I hope this isn't too late. Uh, and then on the back, we have officially licensed merch from Plastic Meatball. They're cool as hell, too. I've interacted with them. Um, I think they're great. Uh, what else do we have here? Now available. Oh, Raven's Banners, who's been putting these out. And they've got some movies, too. So we'll do a little uh, Raven's Banner segment here. Uh, coming out is a movie called Yummy. Um, facelets, boob jobs, and zombies. So it's like Nip Tuck. For the undead. Uh, this one doesn't have a title. But there's a really creepy picture. You see that? It's really creepy. Uh, there's a movie called Dead Dicks. So that's. Uh, Dicks of the Dead. Kind of a thing. And then December. Oh a new Christmas movie. December. Paul, Paul Brooks. My brother. Uh, would really like December. Look at that cover right there. Uh, so that's cool. And they got some new movies coming soon. Spare Parts just came out. I want to see Spare Parts about some badass chick band that seems to have to, like, uh, they, their limbs get cut off and they get special body part, like chainsaws and stuff, and they have to fight in an arena. That seems cool. 
Um, there's much stuff on there. Okay. So then, but here's the other stuff. Cards. It came with trading cards. So we're going to go through these. I wish. Oh, I wonder if these are randomized or we all have these. Okay. Oh, these are cool. So we've got Cassius 3000. He's one of the guys in the movie. He's uh, one of the fellow like space guys. Uh, and with a little back picture here. Is that? Is that? I'm going to have to look through these other cards, but I feel like the back of this is how this character dies. Let's see what the rest look like. Well, no, it can't be this one. A uh, spoiler. But they've got Mimi here. And, uh, oh, no, it's the same picture on the back. So this is not how Cassius died. Uh, but a little description of Mimi. And then, like, there's a quote. Look out, world. It's Mimi's time to shine, which she says that at some point. You can see it right there. Uh... And then Luke's here. Oh, yeah, Luke's here. He's got a little dirt on his face, little cat, cat whiskers. Uh, that's cool. And we got Pandora. Oh, these are, like, different styles. Remember how cards would be different styles and stuff? Like, this is, like, an art drawing here. That's cool. Uh, and then we've got, oh, we got a Psycho Gorman card. Ba -ba -da -ba. So that's these are dope. And they came in the fucking plastic sleeve. You usually have to buy these separately, but... And it's big enough for all of them. Like a lot of plastic sleeves, you can fit one. Maybe pick two hockey cards in there or something like that. But like, I got the whole thing, man. Like they all fit. Watch this. I got it. Like a glove. <laughs> it's Canadian humor. Um, okay, where do I put this? All right, right there. So now let's get into... Let's get what's in here. In the meat of this. I know you all want the meat of this. All right. So here's this triple disc motherfucker right here. Right? So what do we got here? We got... So this is the Blu-ray. You can tell because there's the Blu-ray logo. And then the DVD... Sorry. The DVD. Wait. DVD. It's a John McGurk reference. D DVD on the home movies Blu-ray. DVD. No. It's DVD. And then, here's, now this is a lot more telling about CD. This, this one with Mimi here, that's a Psycho Gorman DV, or CD. That's a compact disc. Now, these are all compact discs, so it's, uh, here's the thing. Like, compact discs were originally called compact discs because they were compact discs. But then things like DVDs, digital video discs, and Blu-rays, which is just a Sony proprietary name. But, like, a compact disc used to be compact, and now everything's the same fucking size, so it doesn't... Like, you know, it used to be cool to call something a compact disc. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is probably the soundtrack and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, oh, oh, this is reversible. This is reversible. Hold on. Okay. So like, this is what it looks like now, right? You guys, you've seen this enough, but let's, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And we swap a doodle. And now, boom, classic. It's, I mean, it's the classic, uh, you know, picture that we all know. Uh, I'm going to go back to the other one. I like the other one a lot. It's the family, like the 80s, 90s family uh, comedy. It's just such a great, it's so great. It's such a good bit. I mean, the whole movie is so fucking good. Okay, so we got it back. Let's see. And there we go. That's the Psycho Gorman. Oh, shit, I gotta put this stuff back in here. I don't wanna lose this because it's very cool. And I gotta see if I can get that pre order on action figures. Okay, let's put it back in. See, so it came with, with the blue edge like that. I, like, why not? Like,. Why have it the blue edge? Why not have the ni the nice uh, like spine? Why not the spine? I'm gonna go spine. I'm going spine. Fuck it. Here's the thing. There's more mail, so we're gonna keep this going. We're gonna keep this rolling. We're gonna get a little bit of Malort. We're not sponsored by Malort, but we have a little bit more of that 
because that helps unwrapping a little more. So, so we got, ah, geez. Mail. And here we go. This is the mail. All right. And here we have it again. You know, ball hooks here in L.A. Oh, uh, it's here in L.A. Uh, you know, just just doing the cool stuff here. Um, and we're going to open this up. It's it, Now it's fragile. It's made of glass. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> All right. Um, what's nice about when you do a couple of these in a row yeah. is that you know um, like I don't have to put this thing together again because it's so confusing this multi-tool who can handle these things like you gotta be a genius to have a multi-tool like it's like a calculator what the fuck man <clears throat> okay and then We'll just cut down. Don't cut my chest. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. It's open. See? Boop, 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 boop. All right. <laughs> oh my God. This is so cool. All right. Bubble wrap. I love it. That's what's so cool about it. Just kidding. What's cool is. Psycho Garmin glass. Like. There's a note in here too. But we'll get to that in a second. But like, look at this fucking thing. Oh my god, it's like the old uh, McDonald's and like fast food glasses you collect, it's like the Garfield ones and the Snoopy ones. Um, on the back here, if there's like words, like remember how we'd have like a backstory or like just something about the characters or the situation, and you'd collect these glasses, it was the fucking best, and these dope dudes fucking did it. They made it. Um, there's a whole story here and it says collector series so you know it's real and man this is so cool look at this thing look at it it's so cool like well robinson like you could do whatever you want with them you could drink out of them you could you know do a little fun joke like i did you could do whatever you want these are great okay well surely there's nothing else left right <laughs> Mail time. <laughs> you can see it's to me, Paul uh, Ball Pooks here in Hollywood. And what could it be? Uh, what's this? Another cylindrical bit here. Oh, this is wild. What could it possibly friggin' be? Oh, back to that psycho gourmet. I wonder if it's related. Another glass. It's Pandora this time, who who is fighting and hunting down Psycho Gorman, or PG for short. Uh, and she's like cool as hell. Check her out there. That's fucking cool. And similarly, words on the back all about how cool she is. It's great. She's the leader of the Angelic Templars. Like, <laughs> uh, it also says collector series, so you know it's real. And yeah, plastic people made these and they're, they're cool as hell. Uh, they actually helped me out a bit with these, uh, you know, a little honestly, I, I, I got my package and it was some shattering sounds and, uh, and, uh, I, I emailed them and then literally within 30 minutes, they were like, tell us which one's busted. We'll send you a new one. So I didn't look at these beforehand, but I did check on the shattered one because, you know, it was obvious. And and they were so great. Someone named Mark or Matt or someone, I forget there, uh, was just super cool and super nice. So I want to do a shout out 
uh, to them, Plastic Meatball, for just, A, putting together the coolest stuff, like, coolest merch ever, and then also just, you know, cheers, cheers. Amazing customer service. They're, they're very great. Oh, the note that was in one, but not the other, interestingly. So, the Psycho Gorman Cup, they recommend hand-washing to ensure the longevity and vibrancy of the decoration... But Pandora, you can just do whatever, apparently. So that's cool. Nah, I'm sure you have to do it. They recommend it for all of them. Here's the thing. Don't got a goddamn dishwasher, so I'm hand-washing every of my dishes. So they're all vibrant as fuck. So, uh, it's all the mail. I don't know. If anyone wants to hang out, hit me up. Or something. I'm in Los, uh, Los Angeles, Hollywood. Um, I really like Psycho Gore, man. It's really good. I really like Astron 6, honestly. Um, I think they do a really good... They just... I, I talked about it before, you know. It's like... They just do a great job at making stuff they love and showing how much they love it and I like that so but really I want to th-